Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing some Super Seducer. I mean, there's not that much to say, so let's get straight into it. Before we get into playing Super Seducer, I just wanted to say if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you're new to the channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can notify when I do upload, and don't forget to hit the like button as well if you do enjoy the video, and don't forget to comment and share as it does help me out a lot, but either way, let's get back to the video. Dope. Song, the, like, the music's nice. I like it. All right, ask if someone's using that chair, then sit with her. Uh, ask her opinion of what to get as a present. No, tell her. And that he dies in the end, she's standing and accuse her of pretending to read when she's really hunting for men. Uh, standing and ask what she's re now, Let's see this outcome. I kinda want, I'm kind of interested on what this is gonna cause. Yo, what's up? Hi, can I help you? Don't look surprised, come on. I know you were just reading that book and you were like, oh, there's a guy, I hope he comes and picks me up. I'm just gonna pretend I'm reading this book and he'll think I'm really smart. Uh, is, this is this a shtick? Are you trying to be funny? Shtick, it's, well, it's, I mean, it's a happy moment for you. Cause I've oh come and talked to you. I can't uh, no, not at all. I mean, there you are. I'm Monster. very, I just wanna nice, by the way. go okay, up into a Okay, first of all, ball. I don't need to explain my choices to you. You're trash. So, why don't you just go? Well, that's one option, and I do like feisty girls, so maybe we could go oh, together. Oh god. Well, I actually have a You've boyfriend. You've got uh, a spirit. You've got a boyfriend. I've got a boyfriend. Boyfriend? He's, he's like your gay best friend <laughs> that you go shopping with. No, gay he's best friend you go shopping with. No, he's boyfriend who wouldn't like you. I don't need him to like me as long as you like me. I don't like and you. You do like me. I don't really. You're uh, very offensive. I feel and even if very. If I didn't have a boyfriend, this would never happen because no. you're truly a disgusting human being. Well, you know, uh, that's one opinion. Yeah. But I it's know my it's not opinion, true. and it's the only opinion that matters in regards to how this progresses. You're going to change your mind, trust me. We're just going to spend a bit more time together. You don't know more uh, about me. I feel very you're uncomfortable. Your not here, and you're going to like me, Please. trust me. Everyone likes me. I don't like you. I already know. I know. You so will. I won't. You will. Really, I'm, I'm just trying to leave. Uh, this is a very long I'm scene. Please, Gillian, go away. <laughs> Not this, not this oh weekend. my god, okay. No, seriously, this it's not funny. You're offensive, and I think you would have better luck with someone. Uh, I have lots yes. of good luck with I'm everyone. sure you do. Yeah. Like you have ruined any chance that that would be. Can we move on, please? Listen, it's not about my chance, it's about your chance, and today's your lucky day. So put the book down. What's your name? Let's get to know each other. Richard. Richard, let me tell you something. On my lucky uh, day, on my worst day, today, I can do better than you, so... L I'm unlikely. just, I'm not interested. Unlikely. I think that an unemployed homeless man uh, would be an okay choice between the two of you. Well, I'm unemployed. I'm not surprised. But I have a home. <laughs> well, aren't you special? Uh, okay, now put the book down, let's, you know. Really? Uh, uh, yeah, this yeah. is very uncomfortable. Can I go away well, now? He's, well, he's coming, he's coming here. Yeah, he'll be here. We're, on, we're going on a date, actually. Is he a little midget that I can just pick up and... Well, he's like a... A football player, American football, or uh, men or men. They're bigger than the English football guys, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, like, I guess I'll go, but you know, I'm going to leave you my business card. I don't so want it. I know that now you don't want it, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I'll leave it uh, now, and you won't call This is very home. uncomfortable. I don't know what to no, say here. This is very, night, very, home, very uncomfortable to me. A little bit brandy, maybe touching yourself. Oh, my God. And your God. boyfriend's Seriously. out of town. Seriously, you boyfriend's need to just go. Can I go Just, now? Yeah, yeah, I'll I want to leave my yeah, chair you now. need to go. Call me when he's out of town. I want to leave. You know, a little bit. I want to go away uh, now. Freaky. Oh my god. And I'll come around and. You just go. Yeah, I'm going. Just so go. Call me. No. See ya. Oh, thank God it's over. Jesus Christ. Now that was funny, of course, and in the game, definitely, and you should carry on choosing funny choices. However, in real life, bear in mind the overall concept that. When you approach a woman, you should be trying to brighten up her day, make her feel good, give her some, you know, uh. interesting feelings. And by being very aggressive, obviously you're doing the opposite. And it's really bad karma. Karma. All right. Ask if someone's doing that chair and sit with her. All right. I guess. 
to be a little bit cheeky. Hey, excuse me. Hi. Are you using this chair? No. Oh, great. I'll just join you then. Okay. How's it going? That's all right. How are you? Good. My name is Richard. Richard Brenna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I help you? Well, that all depends. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I just saw you reading and I thought I'd come and say hello because I have a few minutes before my friends come. So. Oh, okay. Uh... This is the right option. Oh. Um, it will work if you pull it off with, you know, a bit of a smirk, playfulness. So if it suits your character, this will work as a way to start a conversation in the coffee shop. Well, are you cheeky? Uh, I don't know about me. Uh, ask what she can uh, say. It's gonna nice. What the fuck? What? The back of your house? Find out about these books as a way to show off. I don't know. I don't know what the correct answer is. Uh, uh, but let's go with this for the funnies. You know, but I like your hair. It's nice uh, color oh. and long. Thank you. But just one thing. I think it would look really, really good if, if maybe you, you washed it and conditioned it and Excuse stuff. Excuse me. You know, like get some shampoo, some, some conditioner, nice, nice brand, you know. Uh, so you use that in the morning. Yeah, this is just it's uncomfortable. Really They're not even funny. Lustrous. Yeah. Well, that is a helpful tip. Like mine. I will. Lustrous. Yes, I will. Listen, it just so happens that I live quite nearby. And I've got this, um, what is uh, it? you know, Aveda, very nice shampoo. Never heard so of it. So you could come back and I'll wash your hair. You know, like they do when you go for a haircut and you kind of lean back and they're actually in the shower, obviously, because I don't have that seat. But I can wash your hair really nice. I've got this great Aveda. It's all natural, organic. And Are you whatever. inviting me to your house uh, to wash my hair? Yeah, it'd be great. I want to see what it looks like. I've got hair dryer. This is a hair first. Brush. Uh, first very close, though. That's very weird. <laughs> it's, it's tempting. Of course. But no. No? I'm, I'm going to pass. Hmm. A hard pass. Well, I mean, we can do it another day. No, so I, I think I'm just going to have a hard pass indefinitely. Uh, I don't really understand that hard pass indefinitely, but I guess uh, it means cringe. Soon, so I'm going uh, to... I just want to go up into a ball and go I'll away. i phone now and see it ring so that I make sure it's the right number. And then we can meet another leave. day. This is actually oh, my phone that I use in foreign countries, so it's got the wrong SIM in it, the wrong SIM card. I'm sorry. I'm really, it's really difficult to get in touch with me. Um, I could give you my SIM and then call my number from Skype and we meet tomorrow. I don't think so. I'm sorry. Uh, Alright, well. Uh, uh, please right? stop. Maybe. Stop. Then Maybe. Then we will so bump it's so long. It's meant to be. Who knows where, who knows when. Uh, Fair we'll enough. I'll let it go. Cringe. Thank you. Okay, so that's one of my favorite moments in the game. And, you know, it does show a good positive trait, which is persistence. And in reality, maybe she would have broken and started laughing and actually liked you. But there's a point where you need to say, <sighs> no. okay, I respect this girl. She said no to me, you know, 22 times. I think that's enough. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to go now. But just wanted to say, you know, you're wonderful. You're, you're lovely. And it was a pleasure to meet you. Bye bye. Uh, have a good day. And you go. And that's it. That way you're leaving in a nice gentlemanly way, creating a bit of a better impression. So try and aim for that. Although, you know, it's one of my favorite choices, like I said. Uh, find out. I'm just gonna find out. I'm not. No like more cringe. Uh, if it's not funny, I'm probably probably uh, not gonna no. pick it, man. <laughs> I mean, I think. Well, in every book, there's a little philosophy. I'm not a huge Kafka fan. I was just in Prague recently. I the fuck is that? Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. oh, Ice, yeah, it's where his house is. I didn't know actually. Yeah. Well, oh, if you go, they'll they'll talk about Kafka. So. Nice. And what else do you like to read? Do you like? I generally read. Fiction, non-fiction. Fiction and like 20th century uh. American lit. Okay, who's that, Mark Twain or something? <laughs> mm, like Salinger or maybe, I just recently read a novella called A Day No Pigs Would Die. It's really a Day nice. No Pigs Would Die? Yeah. What? That's like when everyone's vegetarian or Muslim. Well, I won't spoil it, but you're on the right track. Oh uh, yeah, nice one. Yeah, what do you cool. read? Um, I read a lot of different stuff, so I, I like um, business, biography, psychology, uh, philosophy too, and I like old English classics and Russian classics. Russian classics, yeah. such as? Mm. Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, you all, like Tolstoy? all the usual stuff. Yeah, uh, a writer. Mm -hmm. and obviously in translation maybe it's different, but... Um, yeah. I don't speak Russian. Sure. Very cool. What about Bulgakov? 
Yeah, master margarita yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. How do you know this? I don't even read, bro. Mm -hmm. That's good. I don't read because reading, in my opinion, yeah, is just. Yeah, I, I guess so. We do. I don't like reading. Correct. It's important to always focus the conversation on the girl as much as possible because then it's just going to be more interesting for her. Hey, yes, yes, sir. So and how also, are you able to be free in let's the be honest. Of the morning on a Thursday? You don't have anything going on. Um, well, I do have a job, but Neither it's do I. from the laptop, from home, or from anywhere. But um, it's like internet stuff and with America. So in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever. So right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed. Mm -hmm. Lying on the balcony, <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> that's nice. So that's cool. And how about you? How come you're not at work? Now? Well, I have. I'm a. I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day, and I work in the evenings. Mm -hmm. Huh. Nice. Yeah. I guess no. That's gonna be cringe. I don't want to find out. I don't want to find out. Find out whether she loses money doing it for to say you don't go. To, it's a waste of time. Uh, let's just go with this. I don't want to go with the cringy so ones anymore. It just makes me want to ball up. Yeah. And tell me, do you actually like what you do or you do it just for money? No, I really do like what I do. Great. Oh. You feel like you're making a difference in people's lives and all of this? Yeah, I, I actually do. I honestly. That's what you I need to find like a job like that. And that the Trust me, you don't want to be miserable be for the rest of your life. To my students. That could be true because I still remember uh, my teachers from primary school mm -hmm. and uh, Bruh. In secondary school, I don't know if you're the same, but did you like the subjects you're most? Better the teachers memory were? than me, mm -hmm. I can't remember and shit. Later, maybe you weren't even interested in that subject. So mm -hmm. a good teacher can just change the whole course of someone's life. Absolutely. Exactly, so which is why shitty teachers should get the fuck out. Well, whatever you had the good teachers. Talk about the ones that don't. What you learn is kind of irrelevant. And you're a good teacher? They like I you? think so. <laughs> I hope so. That's cool. try. No, I, like I know this teacher be before. It's, it's very oh, I hate her. Still hate her. If you don't like kids, I don't know why you're being a teacher. A you know what I mean? Thanks. At least enjoy your fucking job. This is a nice thing that you can ask anyone. So well done for picking this. It's the right option. And it can always lead to an interesting conversation. Whether she's into a job, she can tell you why. Or she's not, and she can tell you something else that she's passionate about. All right. What's your subject? What do you teach? American culture. American oh, what, what culture. Does that entail. So kind of a lot, quite a few different themes. For example, we kind of started with an overview of American values, which was really interesting. Like um, freedom and stuff, yeah. Things like that, and even more so. Uh, example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense, and. Like back to the future. The movie. Mm, I don't see how. I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they de they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Well, you all control. You, you do control your own destiny. It's your decisions. You know what I mean. But also, other people can affect you too, which is why you shouldn't have toxic people in your life. That's what exactly that is. So just it's what. Make her feel good about her job. Challenge her to explain why is it important. See, I think a challenging would be good, maybe. Wait, American culture, isn't that kind of a contradiction in terms? Like, what are you teaching? Like, here we invented the hamburger in 1940 or something. Like. Well, there really isn't a question of whether or not we have culture. We certainly do. You can look back through history, and yes, maybe ours isn't as long, but yeah, to say that long. yeah, but to say that American culture doesn't exist. Is to argue that yeah, that would Western be Western culture has really had no influence. Even yeah, Eastern yeah we have Western side. culture well, because I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's some stuff, but wouldn't it be better that they learn something else? Because like, if you're going to teach about America, teach business or technology. Because what what's culture? Like, what? Tell me, like, what well, is the artist, the authors? It's, like it doesn't even matter who the artists and authors are. What's important is that we have our own perspective on the world, mm. and that in order to interact successfully with us so if you're a business person if you want to interact successfully ah, with an american business mm -hmm. person you need to understand what their daily life looks like and kind of how huh. they perceive the environment okay cool so it's mm -hmm. like when you're learning about business in china and you have to you know give your business card with two hands quite literally yes all of that this stuff. is the same thing got it okay so it's not really teaching about history and art and no else. huh okay nice one 
Well, that's very useful because that's yeah. the American culture, like modern culture is what leads the world, right? We yeah. all kind of follow. Huh. If you can challenge someone, get them to prove themselves to you, and then approve of them, validate them, it has a powerful psychological effect. So it's the right option. Well, Man, all this is by psychology. It makes us think job, that humans are really easily manipulated too. For me. I've got this Yo. problem where I can't print all the copies that I need, and but I want my students to all have their own copy to take home, but then I have to go to the printer like every day and it gets kind of expensive. So what do you think I should do? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Be honest. I don't think you should be honest here. Say it's innocent. It's like for a bigger printing allowance. Tell her that she has a colleague she doesn't like. We tell her that if she has a colleague she doesn't like, she could ignore them. Be general and vague because he didn't like say it must be annoying and tell her to ask for a bigger printing allowance. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention either. I was just like, I was paying attention to the dude looking at the girl's ass, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the ass like that. I was just like, dude, come on. Pay attention. But I wasn't paying attention. Be vague. Um, well, when you have a problem like this, it's important to, uh, that's it, you should talk to your boss about the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is, yeah. not important, but, you know, talk to them in a way that shows that you're mm. on their side. Okay. And that you want the best for the department and should be okay. Okay. That's pretty good advice. Oh. Oops, looks like you got a little bit distracted there, but hey. you know, I understand why it happened. There was a very beautiful girl going by. <laughs> Oops. What else is important in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs and I love to travel. Travel? Yeah. Tra I want to travel, but I've I'm too quite young a bit right now. These last couple years, especially. Nice. And where some. We can't travel because of COVID. Uh, in Europe. Which I, I actually got. Russia, Ukraine, <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know where, Poland, but I got it. Lithuania, even though I've been inside my house for the most Latvia. part. Nice, so all of Eastern Europe and yeah. kind of former USSR, yeah? Yes. Nice. Huh. And tell me, what's nice. the absolute best place you've seen? Like, if people who have never traveled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see, where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. The Grand Canyon. I can't Canyon. do it justice with words, but... Wonderful. All right. Okay, so uh, experiences in okay, say so it's boring there. They don't even have Wi Fi, so that you've never been, but like to go get to elaborate on what you particularly like. No, uh, this. I see, I went there as well. Yes, yes, please. But tell me what, what did you really like about it? Well, I, I suppose the fact that it is beautiful, and I think I was there at a time in my life when it was really impactful, so I was the right age, and it was the right time, and so it was meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm excited to return. I think next summer I'll go back. Oh yeah, very cool. I'd like to go back as well. So if I'm in America mm -hmm. and I'm nearby the Grand Canyon, which I guess nothing's nearby, but if I also want to go- You're in Phoenix. Yeah, yeah Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Then um, yeah, we could, we could go. <laughs> uh, all right. Good one. That's exactly right. When someone can talk about something passionately, you want to yeah, give them a chance. Yeah, that's exactly that. what I was thinking. It looks like I'm the fucking guru, guru, bitch. Just give them a chance to open up. This is the perfect subject to connect on. The love guru. Oh, should I say that? No. Oh. I've run out of things to say. You've run out of things to say? This is why you think. This is awkward now. Yeah, I'm looking around the venue while I think of what to say. No, I think that's not what's... I think... A. So are you not going to get any coffee? Oh, well, actually, I was, I was over by the bar just uh, before I saw you and had a coffee there. And I try not to drink too many. I get, it actually has a strong effect on me, so I don't need that much energy. I, I've had enough, so I'm, I'm good. Uh, is that the best one? Correct. Now, yes. Now, you can't do this, you know, so it's, it's very cool. Makes Let's you look very confident and strong contact. when you can hold eye contact like this and get her to be the one that works to fill the silence and come up with something to say because exactly. it shouldn't always be you, right? Yes, sir. What are the things you like to do for fun? 
Well, since I, as long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball. So that's oh, something okay. I try to do whenever I can. Bruh, I suck nice. at volleyball. I, I tried it. School. They had yeah. it in my school, but since then I didn't. But they play, I go to Barcelona a lot and they play on the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, yeah. Oh, very in a nice. pinch. Are you very good? Yeah. You can huh. do that where you jump and For smash sure. it down. Cool. Yeah. That's nice. It's harder on the beach because the nets are higher. Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool hobby. And anything else you do? Yeah, I uh, probably the thing I do the most is study Russian. Study Russian? Ah, oh, it's that stupid that putting these people in Russia are just vodka drinking it. <laughs> wow, that's mean. Tell you failed miserably with languages at school. Show up by telling you about compliment on choosing a tough language to learn. I don't know if complimenting would be good, but it could be good. But tell you, I don't know. Con it's tough? I don't know. I guess so. No, he failed miserably with languages at school. Okay, let's just do this. Russian? Yeah. Ah, you know, I meet loads of people that speak, what, French, English, obviously Spanish, German. Mm -hmm. But Russian, it's really rare to, to meet someone who speaks Russian. It's yeah. pretty cool. How come you chose okay. that? I don't really have a good reason. When I was in high school, I did a, I had the opportunity to do a study abroad, and my choices were France, in Russia and I didn't want to go to France so I went to Russia and then I just never quit mm -hmm. I actually like that you chose something tough mm -hmm. and that you stuck with it mm -hmm. and you know like I said most people take the easy options all the time so huh. it's interesting and cool that you did that thank you yeah, my, uh, my dad's learning nice French, you know, bruh. When a girl has something that is a real talent, something that oh, she should be proud of, something she's worked hard in on, French. that's the kind of thing you don't want to tease her too much on. So, you know, say well done, say you respect that, and say why, and then go deeper into it, because, you know, you need to find out why she would Why am that, I doing so good? What, what the fuck? spend the time on it, and it's going to lead to interesting conversation, make her feel good as well. I noticed you I have only, like, missed one. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Uh, England, actually. Whereabouts? Um, was we England, all have an accent, actually, including you know me. When I was, when I was, you know, I lived in South. An London, American accent. And they have a strong accent there. It's like South, South London. We all, uh, either way, different places um, in America have different accents, like New York, I'm Boston, uh, even California, I think, has their own accent. Yes, very much. That's good. Uh, you like my British? I get laid. <laughs> okay, tell my foreign perceived English people and ask how people react as an American. Uh, I guess. You like the English accent? Yeah. Yeah, most people like it. They say it's Pleasant. kind of sexy, but maybe that's just when I speak it. But <laughs> <laughs> it's quite interesting actually being English because in some places like America we have a very good reputation, mm -hmm. and then some places like Spain where all the English people go and kind of party and like the hooligans go drinking and stuff, so mm -hmm. their reputation's quite quite bad. Huh? Oh, How do you find that. it being an American and traveling? Uh, it depends on where you're at, but I guess generally. People have kind of negative stereotypes about the United States and America. Probably. But I don't know. It seems that a lot of people are willing to take you and judge you individually and not. That's good, put right? On a bunch of oh, yeah. We're lucky. Yeah? We don't have any real uh, racism or anything really bad against us almost anywhere we go, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. This is the right choice, and it's always interesting to talk about cultural differences so it can lead to some nice conversation. You know what I hate? People that think that their country is the best. I don't think any country is the best. I think all countries suck. Especially their government. Say you like her and want to see her again. Ask her for her number. Ask what she likes to do in her free time. Say that she's going to be beautiful and that you want to take her. Okay. Ask what she likes to do what in her free time. What do you like to do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Because you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance, anything else? All of the above, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. At the same time? When the mood strikes, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I like going out sometimes, cocktail bars, different bars. Do you smoke shisha? Uh, hookah. Yeah, hookah you call it in America, right? Yeah, I have from time Wait, to time. Wait, what's I'm that? What? I don't know what fan, hookah is. I quite like it. They say it's yeah. really unhealthy. but It I seems unhealthy. Once a month. But you don't cough after it, so therefore... You know. It's healthy? Yeah. So we need to <laughs> sometime, like shisha, uh, hookah, um, cocktails, and then dancing. Oh, maybe. Uh, when you want to transition to seeing someone again, exactly, you gotta it's ask very them. good to build up a picture of the kind of things that they yeah. do, the way they spend their time, because you might find a mutual connection. 
you find yes, that sir. you share some activities or that you do some things that she wants to do she does some things that you'd like to try but these are some things that you wouldn't probably do in real life because you would uh sub because you would have to subconsciously outdoor, like, i think that's the that's the word no you have yeah. to consciously think yeah i grew up in in the country about it so I really enjoy you're not gonna do it subconsciously nature activities i like hiking and i love fishing 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 yeah a girl who likes fishing it happens yeah wow. we exist Fishing. Even I don't like fishing. Maybe I'll do fishing if I was doing something else in the meantime, but definitely not by itself. That's just boring. How about bicycle? I like that too. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, that's something else we could do one day. Like take some bicycles, ride out somewhere. Yeah. That would be nice. Cool. Uh, as for her plans for the coming week, as what she kind of uh, man, she'd like to touch her face, run the cube routine. What the fuck are all these psychology, psychological tests? Like, I don't even ha know any of these. Run. The I just want to figure are out you what interested the fuck. In this. psychology. Yeah. Have you ever done this psychology test called the cube? Mm -mm. Uh, it's really interesting. Do you want to do it just right now? It takes like one minute, and it will tell you all about your personality. Sure. Okay. So close your eyes. And I want you to imagine that you're in some place, there's like a landscape, anything you like. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And in that landscape, there's a cube somewhere. And describe to me what the cube looks like. Okay, it's silver. Yeah. It's floating. Okay. Uh, it's small, like the size of a die. Okay, cool. And then somewhere in relation to the cube is the ladder. Can you describe the ladder? Uh, okay, it's green. Mm -hmm. It's not... It's one of these ladders, not one of these ladders. Mm -hmm. How big is it? Like three times the size of a person. Okay, pretty big. And then somewhere in this scene, there's a horse. Okay. And can you tell me like what it's doing and what it looks like? And stuff? It's grazing. It's a paint. Okay. And a, a paint is a breed of horse. Apparently, I didn't healthy. know that. Is it close to the cube or or not? It's probably. 30 feet from the cube okay and somewhere there are what is this doing i don't flowers. understand i'm over here trying to think of it in my head the flowers are by the horse the horse is eating the flowers ah that's interesting and the final thing somewhere there's a storm where is it in the distance near the mountains very good all right open your eyes so huh? this tells you um this tells me about your character so the cube represents your view of yourself and if it's very big it means you've got a huge ego mm -hmm. but it's quite small so it means you're quite humble but then it's silver so you think you know you have that self-confidence that you've got something you know special and uh, you know, everything was white in my head man true. everything and was white the ladder represents your ambitions so the fact that it's uh, quite big and bigger than the cube and not like under it or whatever else means that you have quite big ambitions. So the horse uh, represents your man. So it's quite good that he's uh, healthy and, you know, looks good and that he's nearby, right? He's mm -hmm. not far away, which would mean he's not on the horizon or anything. And then the flowers represent your children that you're going to have in the future. So it's good that... Um, the man is near them, that he's not like an absentee dad or something, mm -hmm. right? But a bit strange that he's eating them. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that just seems like eating the, the kids. Point is positive as well. Um, it means that you have a sunny disposition because your problems are represented by the storm and it's in the distance. Bro, mine was straight on the things. Overhead, and it just means that they've always got problems or that at that moment they're in a dark period. Oh, that's nice to know. Something Thank you. Through. Yeah. Cool. That's very cool. This is quite interesting. It's a psychological game. I just wanted to know what the fuck it was. And a lot of pickup artists have used it. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's interesting. It's quite an interesting psychological interesting. test. Again, like the reason it's not the best choice is it's better if you can do without it. But if you'd like some, you know, little tricks and tools that you can carry around with you and use when necessary, this is okay and you can use it. So it doesn't destroy anything, but I'd say it's not the best option. Yeah, sounds the best. I just wanted to know what the fuck it was. Take your number, say you'll be in touch, say you have a spare few minutes if I have to make love in the restroom. I kind of want to see that. And uh, maybe not, though. Fuck it. But listen, I think things are just going swimmingly between us. So I've just noticed something. Oh, God. There's a restroom over there, right? And wait a second while I tell you my plan. You seem like an adventurous girl. Correct me if I'm wrong. You said you like, you know, doing different things. So what we're going to do, 
Going to go to that restroom. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh my god. No. No. Just. Yeah, that ruined it right there. Three, four minutes. I know you're busy. I don't even know what to say. This is so shocking. Well, I know offensive. you're happy. I know you're happy. No. You can say thank you. It's going to be great. Let's go now. Uh, you're a pervert. And I want you to leave I've my table. No, I'm sure you have. I'm gonna really, leave. you need to leave. I'm going to leave this the is, table. No, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, you're going to love it. I'm going to leave the table. I'll go and wait there. Okay. Get ready, you know, so to speak. You go do that. You come and join me in like 30 seconds so that people don't see us going together. All right? So you're going to come in 30 seconds, all right? Uh, yeah. You'll be there? No. I won't be there. Just go. Uh, go to the bathroom. Go to the, I don't need to go to the bathroom. Not to, I wanted, like, I don't need to... I'm not going with you. Use the bathroom. Uh, this, is this is really this is totally inappropriate. fucked really up. Funny. I thought it'd be funny, but no, clear. it's not funny. It's I just cringe. You're a shy girl, but trust me, this is gonna be like the best five minutes of your no, entire life. No, seriously, just, just, wonderful. just leave. Get lost. No more. I don't want. Not another word. You do nope. want. Stop. Seriously, you're but you're just, creeping me out. Just give me. No, I don't. Wait I, until you see what I've got I here. I am serious. You're extremely creepy. Okay, um, I want you to leave. I want to leave. I want to go just jump out a goddamn window. Look, okay, look, I've had it with you. I'm not gonna. It's like, okay, oh, just please I don't, take a million dollars. No, I don't want it. No, I don't want it. Here, have these Lamborghini keys. Drive it. No, no. I don't want it. Okay, go. fine. Oh my god. Okay, finally. Jesus Christ. Never again. True gentleman. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, suggest you suggest me uh, go on hiking sometime and take your number. Suggest meeting for a drink. Uh, hiking? Wouldn't that be one of her interests? I should probably say yeah. So you like um, hiking and outdoor stuff, and mm -hmm. the weather's pretty good at the moment. So one day we could take a little trip, or I don't know, meet in the evening. Anyway, lots of stuff. We've got lots of stuff we could do together. So why don't you give me your number and we'll, sure. we'll arrange something. All right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. It flows very smoothly to find something that you both like and then exactly. suggest doing that as the reason to see each other. That again. was thinking. It's way better than just saying, hey, give me your number or hey, let's go for dinner tomorrow. Yeah, let's go for hiking. Say goodbye and be warm. Say nice. Words. Give her a long goodbye. Hug and going for the kids. Quietly say goodbye and then you'll be in touch. Say goodbye, be warm, and say nice words well, to meet you. Look, I should be heading off, but it was it was great meeting you. Really cool. Mm -hmm. Really, really happy to meet you, and yeah, see you. Bye. Bye. Ah, Oops, damn. You know, you got right to the end, but this is a little bit too much. Um, being warm at this point, totally unnecessary, and if anything makes you look like a little bit of a wussy, I might oh, fuck. You know, change your <laughs> mind about seeing you again. All right, fuck. Casanova. God damn it. This is the right option. Um, it well, let's work. go. Shut if up. Pull it off let's go back. Hey, shut up. Let's go back and let's get the perfect ending. I want to see what that looks like. All right, we are finally at the end. I know it's not going to be that much different, but I want to see what he says for the perfect ending. Oh, whoa, I almost fucked up. Okay, so I, I better be going. See ya. Okay, bye. This one is counterintuitive, but it's exactly the right answer. The reason is that if you're too friendly at the leave and like, okay, see you again soon. It's lovely to meet you. Really enjoyed it. See you, see you, bye bye, like that. Then it just means that she knows that you like her. She's, she knows you're going to message her and she's not really thinking about it. If you do the opposite and you're kind of cold, she might think, hang on, did I do something wrong there at the end? Does he really like me? Will he message me? Does he want to see me again? It just makes you look very cool and keeps her thinking about you in the interim uh, between the time. The thing is, that's how I just normally say goodbye. All right, goodbye. Gotta go. Just dip. Super seducer. Let's go. This is the right. Okay, shut up. I don't want to hear. It will work. I don't want to hear. All right. That's where I'm going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All that good shit. And I'm just going to leave it there. All right. Peace.